All right, Richard. Uh, okay, hold on. What is with people moving from California to South Dakota? You, you got to give me the story real quick. Uh, you're from from Los Angeles County. Yeah, Southern California. You went to Santa Fe High School. Yes. You had kind of a famous high school teammate. Right, Joey Davis. Joey, the Ice Man. The Ice Man. The Ice Man. You yep. had some good stories about that last night. Yeah. Uh, but the, but give me the story about a guy from Southern California moving out to Eastern South Dakota. Uh. I mean, it was a hard transition. Certainly my freshman year, it was like the most brutal winter ever. And uh, being a beach bum, always, you know, surfing and whatnot, it was just a huge cultural shock. And uh, yeah, it was hard. You and I were talking about, you know, even Orange County, Orange County to, to Los Angeles County. It's like people don't even exist on the same planet as far as socioeconomics. <laughs> and then we talked about plane of existence. It's like South Dakota to Southern California. It's like literally going to another planet almost. It is. How was that adjustment for you leaving there and coming here? Uh, it was hard, you know, was, there was definitely a cultural shock, um, especially, you know, being a minority and dealing with all the stereotypes and whatnot, but, uh, you know, I adapted just like any other thing. You got to be resilient and battle through adversity. And yeah, wrestling's taught me just to keep chipping away and you'll prevail. So we're talking, you know, I, I was like picking your brain. I, I, I don't know if you noticed, I like hearing, I like hearing you tell me things. Right. But, uh, uh, you know, because I come from like a rural, you know, kind of country background. But I, I've been a lot of places and I talk to a lot of people. But your story is, you know, I talked to Joey. Joey's got a you know, pretty similar story, sure. you know, if Joey stays in Southern California, that's probably not the best thing for him. Yeah, you know, wrestling provided an avenue where we could get our education, get a degree, uh, and just continue to pursue our passion. So, you know, there's a lot of life lessons involved throughout the culture of wrestling. And just like I said, you know, prevailing through adversity. It, there's, there's no question there's adversity, you know, like you come to a place where most of the people are kind of like people from like Northern European, they're of Northern European descent, you're Mexican. Yep. And you know, it's, it's different. They don't know who, not much about you. Yeah. What was that like? You, you know, you talk about people <laughs> stereotyping. Yeah, there's things. a lot of questions like, are you native? Because they automatically assume because this is like indigenous land. Um, but no, I would just tell them, you know, I'm Mexican, American and I don't speak Spanish, I'm like third generation, because they automatically assume like, you know, I speak Spanish or Yeah, but something to be honest, nature. Mexican people assume that too, you told me. <laughs> yeah. People, they'll, they'll start talking Spanish to you and you're like, whoa, whoa, right, no. Yeah, yeah, that happened to me multiple times. And uh, I don't know, it's a common misconception if, I don't know, if you're not brought up in that lifestyle. You know, my parents never spoke Spanish to me. That you, often. Your dad is a tradesman. My dad's a tradesman. Yep. You know, your dad's a pipe fitter. I a bunch of my uncles are pipe fitters. I told you that. Yes, sir. Uh, union pipe fitters in the Toledo area. Your dad's a Los Angeles union pipe fitter, yep. and uh, he works for like uh, wastewater and sewage, right? Yeah. Wastewater and sewage. LA County Sanitation Department. Yeah. So that's actually a pretty good job, whether people want to believe it or not. It is. Not, you know, but you got to work. Yeah, you got to bust your tail. For you are the first person in. Any generation yeah. to graduate from college. Yes. Knowing that you know you use the, the the avenue, wrestling avenue, to be able to be an AI All American like you were, and what, what was the college? It's it not Dakota Wesleyan. It's yeah, it's, it's Dakota, Dakota Wesleyan. Okay. Yes. And you're NAI All American there. Correct. Fourth, right? Yes. So using that avenue to to get out, become the first college graduate. How proud of your dad, your mom? Oh, it was phenomenal. You know, um, other than my mom and dad, I had like. 13 other close relatives come and support me on graduation day. They came from Southern California? They flew in, and believe it or not, for my nationals in Topeka, Kansas, I had over 25 people there. Oh, that's you know, awesome. I had my nephews, my nieces, brother-in-law, aunts, uncles, close relatives and friends, you know, just people I grew up with throughout the community. They just came and you know, gave me a final farewell on the mat because they didn't know if I was going to pursue this or not, but continuing the journey.
con speaking of continuing the journey, what's next for you? You know, the, the, the Southern California, we talk about the pitfalls of going back and you say being on the block is what you called it, I yeah. think, a couple times. Yeah. But like the pitfalls, <laughs> you know, do, do you go back there? What, what do you do next? What's your next step in life? Uh, currently, I'm going to be moving to Nevada actually a week from today. And uh, I'll be coaching and then also teaching physical education. And aside from that, I'll be training because my ultimate goal is to represent United States of America for 2020 games in Tokyo. So continue to train, but a full-time teacher? Yes. Finding a full-time PE job is not easy. I, I was telling you, Ohio, we're really kind of, we're, we're, we're getting rid of PE, yeah. which is insane to me. Whatever. We won't even get into the politics <laughs> of that, but yeah. getting rid of, uh, that's insane to me. But like that's something where you know a lot of states aren't appraising the value on that. I don't know how you couldn't. Yeah. But like it's hard to get that job. How did this come about, and how did you pursue that? Oh, I got strong ties in the Nevada community. You know, my nephew wrestles out there for Green Valley Gators, and uh, he's he's a stud. But anyhow, I go out there frequently, fly in Nevada, and because uh, believe it or not, South Dakota is limited to where they fly into. So I, I believe that. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say I believe that. But I, I can wholeheartedly believe that. So uh, South Dakota flies into Las Vegas, Nevada. That's one of the flights they do offer. So I fly in there frequently, and uh, whenever I want to go back to Los Angeles, my dad picks me up from Nevada. We, f we drive four hours back every time. I-10? Uh, I, I don't even recall. It's, I think it's I-10. But anyway, um, yeah, so my nephew grew up wrestling out there, and when I'm able to fly in there, you know, we maximize our time together and we get workouts in. I stop into his wrestling room and uh, it's just a good community out there. So they asked me if I would. It's Henderson, there. right? Yes. You're actually, it's you're just south of Vegas, Las right? Las Vegas, yeah. Yeah, so it's you're, you're it's it's Vegas, basically. Pretty much the suburbs. 25 minutes right. away, maybe? Yeah. Cool. Um, we got UFC fights coming up tonight. I pulled you out of the sauna here. I feel bad. I, I <laughs> stole your good. sweat, man. It's all good. You got anything else for me? No, you know, I appreciate the time. I always appreciate the time too. I appreciate all the, the 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 media you can share with me and everything else. We've got to exchange numbers. And if I get out to Vegas, I have Absolutely. to hit you up. Yeah, look me up. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Good luck in, in Henderson. Appreciate it. And we'll be we'll be catching up, right, bud. Thank you.